Uh, we moved six lines from Northwest Park. So they came from Adikwe and Pilonsburg to, um, uh, they were coming to Umfalozi Game Reserve. And um, they were being flown by a Cessna caravan. And obviously being quite new on the job, I was a little bit nervous. And, but the load, everything went well. We darted these animals in the bombers. Um, we got them um, all nicely onto the back of the, of the truck to take them to, uh, to the airport. And, um, and now all I wanted to do was get there and, and, and just get to Umpelosi because that was really what, what I didn't want to keep these lines down. I, I, my nerves were really shot. And um, <clears throat> on the way there, we were forced to stop to see some high powered dignitaries that were at Sun City to show them the lines, which uh, didn't do my nerves any good because, you know, for me, this was completely unnecessary. And I think I started losing it a little bit. Um, but we got them to the airport, we landed, we loaded them onto the plane and thank goodness we were on takeoff. And as is predicted with the, the takeoff and the increase in acceleration and extra noise, one finds that this stimulates the animals and I was anticipating it. And the one line was showing signs of, of waking up. So I gave it a, a top up injection to keep it down. And um, now we were sort of on takeoff and we were, we were sort of on the ascent and I was waiting for the drugs to work, but they weren't working quick enough and this lion stood up. So I remember it was a female, fortunately, and I grabbed it around the neck and I had it in, a, in what you'd call a neck lock and pressing it against the sides of the, of the airplane. And I remember that line was number three in, in, in line. It was basically in the middle behind the pilot where the pilot was seated. And it started walking uphill because we were on the ascent and it started, it walked over the first line and I got to the, the last line, which is right behind the pilot when uh, I, the pilot suddenly realized that there was something happening behind him. And I just remember the shock look on his face when uh, he turned around and, and, and saw where I was. But fortunately the drugs took effect and I went to sleep and I was able to rearrange the, the animal. But that wasn't the end of the story because uh, everything is now under control. I'm very relieved that everything is going okay. and. Um, I remember getting sort of at about 11,000 feet to run about fray height and I needed some more drugs and I was accompanied by one of the section rangers in uh, Umpelosi and I, I shouted at him across the fuselage and I said, you know, can you pass me my cool box? And he said, you've got the cool box. I said, no, you've got the cool box. And both of us realized that the cool box had been left behind with all the drama that was happening with uh, sort of stopovers and etc. We left it behind in the Land Cruiser. And I had nothing left except for some uh, virtually human-based tranquilizers, which I managed to find in my drug box. At that point, the pilot realized we were in a bit of trouble. Um, I, I was actually radioing uh, the game reserve to, to ask them to please have somebody on standby with drugs so that we could immediately top them up because I knew they were going to need it. And the pilot then, to help us, uh, put the plane into descent to try and get there as quick as possible. Uh, and fortunately we got there, the lines are still relatively asleep, if you can call it relatively, they were all stirring and lifting their heads and moving their legs. And uh, when we got to, and we landed at Shislui airfield, um, the pilot, due to the speed in trying to get there, used far more fuel than, than he thought he, he would, would need, with the result that the plane was now tail heavy and we had to radio the ground and asked them to please send people out and they actually had to run out and catch the tail so it didn't smack into the ground with the excess weight. So it was full of drama. Fortunately, I think I was the first one to exit the plane and we managed to get the drugs into the lines and everything, everything worked out. These days when we travel, I make sure that I've got drugs in at least three different places just in case something happens.